7 Interesting Facts About the Statue of Liberty Standing tall on Freedom Island in New York Harbor, the Sculpture of Freedom is a powerful image of American history, addressing the country's freedom, opportunity, and inclusivity. Planned by French stoneworker Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi, the renowned sculpture was a gift from France to the U.S., to honor the partnership produced between Americans and the French during the American insurgency. The constituent pieces of the sculpture were implicit in France and advanced across the lake in 214 transportation cartons. In 1886 the sculpture was finished, and it has stayed set up from that point forward. Be that as it may, exactly the way in which this titanic landmark is tall? We should investigate a few fun realities about woman freedom. Did you know the seven interesting facts? Fact number one. The Statue of Liberty is 151 feet tall. The level of the sculpture of freedom changes, contingent upon how you are estimating it. From the sculpture's base to the light, the all-out level is 151 feet. In any case, assuming you additionally incorporate the platform and the establishment, the whole development is a great 305 feet tall, making up perhaps the biggest landmark in the whole world. To place these estimations into the setting, the sculpture of freedom is equivalent in level to a 22-story work starting from the earliest stage at the tip of the light fire. There are 377 stages driving from the primary anteroom of the sculpture the whole way to the crown stage, which offers views across New York Harbor. Fact number 2. Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi almost made the statue in Egypt. French stone carver Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi was the man behind this widely popular landmark. His most memorable idea for a tremendous female landmark was a beacon in Egypt, to honor the French development of the Suez Channel. In any case, when that failed to work out, Bartholdi put his focus on celebrating the collusion between France and the US. Fact number 3. Gustave Eiffel assisted in the construction of the monument. The sculpture of Freedom's head, arms, and outside were built in parts in the French designing studio of device, Gautier, and company, while Gustave Eiffel, creator of the Eiffel Pinnacle in Paris, helped with developing the interior arch pinnacle that upholds them. They endured nine years assembling everything, prior to maneuvering it into parts and delivering it to New York City. Fact number 4. The Statue of Liberty is coated in copper. Have you at any point asked why the Sculpture of Freedom has a green shade? The whole sculpture is covered in a slender layer of copper, as meager as two pennies remain together, which covers an inward design produced using cast iron and treated steel. This copper has gradually matured over the long run, transforming from a ruddy earthy colored shade to the particular light green patination we know and love today. In the meantime, the glimmering light was covered in 24K gold during reclamation work in 1986. Fact number 5. No one knows who Lady Liberty is modeled on. Almost certainly, the motivation for woman freedom's etched elements and grating posture came from a scope of sources. Some accept she could have been founded on a Bedouin lady, in accordance with Bartholdi's previous plans for Egypt, while others hypothesize that she looks similar to Bartholdi's own mother. Number six. The Statue of Liberty was once a lighthouse. For the initial 16 years of its presence, the Sculpture of Freedom worked as a beacon, which should direct ships coming into New York Harbor. While the first thought was to put lights inside Freedom's crown, these were excessively splendid, and security officials feared they could daze passing boats. All things being equal, the light came from the light. While different beacons were as yet run from lamp oil lights, the Sculpture of Freedom was the main beacon to be lit with power, controlled by a steam power plant. Yet, sadly, on the grounds that there was no enhancing focal point in the light, the sculpture didn't have a lot of purposes, and it stopped its beacon exercises in 1902. Fact number 7. It is closer to New Jersey than New York. In fact, the sculpture of freedom lives in the waters of New Jersey. Notwithstanding, Freedom Island is important for the 8th legislative locale of New York, and New Jersey has never attempted to guarantee the land, so we can securely say woman freedom lives in New York City. As one of the most recognizable symbols of America, the Statue of Liberty continues to inspire millions of people from all over the world. It has been featured in countless movies, TV shows, and photographs, and is an essential destination for tourists visiting New York City. Whether you're admiring it from afar or taking a tour to the crown, the Statue of Liberty is an awe-inspiring monument that represents freedom, hope, and opportunity. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my YouTube channel.